Yes guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about your first touch. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel. I am Coach Indy. Please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell. Every time there is a video uploaded to the channel, you will be notified. We try and post maybe twice a week, so there's plenty of content coming regularly your way. In today's video, we're working on some first touch and control. How good is your first touch? Can you make it stick to your foot or to your body part that's legal? Um, can you not let it get away from yourself? What parts of the body can we use? Can we use our chest? Can we use our instep? Can we use our thigh? Can we use a soul trap, etc.? And then we're looking at some directional first touch as well. So maybe we're working in two, two separate grids and we're transferring the ball from one grid to the other using various body parts as well. So everything's going to be in a, a tight space as well. So grid size might be four by four, five by five, six by six. So quite tight, tight space. And there's also going to be some juggles in there as well. That's another way you can sort of work with your first touch as well. Going to dive into the video now. Hope you like it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment to the video after you've watched it. Hope you guys enjoy it. For this exercise, we're going to juggle the ball inside the 5x5 five five grid and then make sure we have one larger flick up in and around head height before we control the ball for our instep. This is really good for your first touch, making sure the ball doesn't get away from you after you receive maybe a long range pass. Try to use both feet or alternate both sides if you can, just because it's really important to make sure you work both feet. You don't want to have any weaknesses in the game. Top tip for you is when the ball is coming down from the, the last sort of pickup you have or the last juggle you have, really make sure you get underneath the ball to try and cushion the ball. In this exercise, we're still working on our first touch. How the drill works is we're still working inside the 5x5 five 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 grid, juggling the ball two or three times and then one larger or slightly taller juggle above head height. Rather than controlling the ball with the instep, this time round we're controlling the ball with our laces. Now if we can, we can try and minimise the amount of bounces afterwards, ideally zero. Maybe if you get a Velcro first touch, you get a little bit of backspin in there as well. A little tip for you is to make sure you get the foot underneath the ball, killing the momentum of the ball and making sure that ball stays within the 5x5 five 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 grid. This drill is working on your first touch inside the 5x5 five five grid. We're still doing two, three, four, five juggles with the last one in around head height. As the ball comes down this time around, you're actually looking to try and trap the ball as best as possible between the ground and the studs or the sole of your foot. Timing is absolutely crucial in this drill. Can you time when you bring your foot down to trap the ball between the ball and the ground? After that, it's all about being consistent and just getting lots of repetitions in. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Really making sure you get that consistency in your game. For this drill, we're now working on our chest control in terms of our touch, in particular, it's a directional touch. So, how the setup is, we've got two grids three by three next to each other. And what we're going to be doing is two or three juggles to start off with and then a sort of slightly taller one just so it allows us to chest control and transfer the ball from one grid to another. A few tips for this drill is to make sure you arch your back so try and lower your body position and second thing is to open up your shoulders this allows you to sort of direct your touch in the direction you want to go in. In this exercise we've got two 5x5 five five grids and we're going to be working on our first touch of transferring the ball from one grid to the other so we've got two 5x5 five five grids be juggling the ball again two three four five flick ups the last one being a bit taller and a bit higher about head height and then we're going to transfer the ball in one touch with the inside of our foot we can run the back of the ball or the side of the ball sorry transfer it from one grid to the other making sure it doesn't go out the other side of the grid this is a very very effective first touch and this is a personal favorite of mine oh delicious 
in this drill we've got a 5 by 5 two grids next to each other and again we're going to be transferring the ball from one side to the other this time round we're going to be juggling the ball again two three four juggles with the last one slightly higher around the head height and then we're going to transfer the ball from one side of the grid to the other but using the outside of our foot this touch is a very delicate touch i think what helps with this touch is making sure you get around the outside of the ball easy to transfer from right to left or left to right again it obviously looks a little bit better you can get the ball across the deck and finally keep repeating the exercise so you get lots of repetition so you can master your craft and master that first touch it's obviously going to help you when it comes to game time in this drill here we're looking to juggle the ball two three four times Again, the last one being about head height. And then what we're looking to do is have a thigh control and then shift the ball from one side of the grid to the other because there's two grids there. Using the inside of our foot, top tip for this one would be making sure you get around the side of the ball, which allows you to shift the ball from right to left or left to right. Two other things to note is make sure the touch with your thigh is quite a delicate touch. Obviously that's coming down from a slightly higher height. So can you kill it? Can you kill the momentum off the ball? And then when you shift the ball from one side to the other, can you make sure it's across the deck and it allows you to play the pass or next action a little bit easier. In this drill, we're still working on our first touch. We're working inside the 5x5, five five. we've got two grids. And again, we're going to be transferring the ball from one side to the other. How it's going to work, you're going to be doing two, three, four, five juggles with the last one being slightly higher around head height. And then we're going to have a thigh control, so making sure we like soften that touch a very delicate touch and then we're going to shift the ball from left to right or right to left using the outside of our foot. I think a key point for this one here is making sure our timing is actually spot on. If the timing is slightly out you're going to get the ball sort of bobbling in the air bouncing around so the timing is absolutely crucial. Repetition is key to success. In this drill, we're still working on our first touch. How good is that first touch? Can it be secure? Make sure it's not too heavy. So we've got a five by five, two grids next to each other. And we're gonna transfer the ball from one side to the other. So how it's gonna work is we're gonna juggle the ball inside one of the grids with two five by five grids. We're gonna juggle the ball two, three, four, five times. The last one being a little bit higher. As the ball comes back down from a little bit higher height, we're gonna take one more juggle for the inside of our foot, punch it in the air, and then we're going to transfer the ball from right to left or left to right using the inside of our foot to get into the outside of the ball and shift it across. So making sure the touch and the weight of touch is really, really crucial because we don't want it to go outside the grid. So it's a very delicate touch. This is another first touch drill. We've got two grids, again, five by five next to each other. And again, we're going to be transferring the ball from one side to the other. So how it's going to work is we're going to juggle the ball, two, three, four, five juggles. The last one being a little bit higher. Again, then we're going to have one touch as the ball comes down with their instep, punching the ball back up, and then we're going to shift the ball from one side of the grid to the other grid using the outside of our foot. A few things to note here are making sure your timing is correct when you make contact when you're shifting the ball, concentration when you're watching the ball come down before you shift the ball across, and also your footwork. How quickly can you move your feet? 